Mom! How can you just forget everything? He left us! Christine, I know. But people change. He's saying he wants to make amends. Make amends? He walked out on us, on you, when you were pregnant with me. Christine, I was wrong. I realized that. I want to be here now. Now? After all these years, it's too late. Christine, please, let's hear him out. We can be family again. A family? We were never a family with him. I made a mistake. A terrible one. But I want to fix it. Fix it? You think you can just come back and everything will be okay? Christine, why are you shouting? Who is he? Carly, this is her father. The one who left us. Dad? You're our dad? Yes, Carly. I'm so sorry for not being here. Sorry doesn't change anything. He abandoned us. Christine, I still love him. We can be happy together. Love him? After what he did to us? What's going on? Why is everyone yelling? Lily, come here. This is your father. He's come back. Dad? Really? I've always wondered about you. I'm here now, Lily. I want to be a part of your life. Just like that? We're supposed to accept him with open arms? I don't expect forgiveness. Just a chance to be a part of your lives. And you, Mom? You're just okay with this? I've never stopped loving him, Christine. We can be a family again. This is unbelievable! You're choosing him over what he did to us! Christine, please. I know I have a lot to make up for. You can't make up for years of absence, years of leaving Mom alone! We can move past this, Christine. We can be happy. Happy with him? How can you even say that? I don't understand. Are we supposed to be a family now? I hope so, Carly. I want to be here for you. This is so weird. I don't know what to think. Think about the man who wasn't here for you for any of us. For y'all, I'm here to change that. I want to be the father I should have been. You can do whatever you want to do, but don't expect me to accept you so easily. John, you can't just leave us like this. I'm pregnant. We need you. Ali, I can't stay. This, it's too much for me. Too much? What about your responsibility to us, to your family? Mom, don't beg him. He's never cared about us. Christine, it's not about caring. I'm just not capable of this. But you said you'd change, John. You promised. <laughs> His promises mean nothing, Mom. He's always been like this. I thought I could change, but I can't. Sorry. Dad, why are you leaving again? Don't you love us? I do, Lily. But I, I just can't do this. John, please, think about your children, about me. Dad, don't we mean anything to you? You mean everything to me, but I, I have to go. How can you just walk out on us, on your pregnant wife? He's not worth your tears, Mom. He's never been. I'm sorry. I have to leave. Goodbye, Allie. No, no. John, please. We can work this out. John, wait. Why, John? Why are you doing this to us? Mom, are you okay? Please don't cry. He's gone, Christine. He left us again. Mom, why doesn't Dad want to be with us? I don't know, my love. I just don't know. Is it because of us? Did we do something wrong? No, it's not our fault. It's never been our fault. He's really gone. Left us all alone again. But I'm not turning back. I'm going to make everything right. Don't worry. Christine, I'm sorry you have to take care of everything while I'm at work. I promise I will try my best to be at home soon. It's okay, Mom. I know we have to do what we have to do. I'll wait for you to come back home. But are you going to come back a bit early tonight? I can't promise, dear. The manager said that we're not closing today before it's 2 a.m. But I'll do my best. It's okay, Mom. Make sure to eat something, okay? I love you. I love you so much, too. Take care of the girls, all right? Mm-hmm. Bye.
Christine, are we having dinner tonight? Yes, Lily, we'll have something, don't worry. But Christine, you haven't eaten much lately. I'm not that hungry. You two eat, I'm fine. But I don't want you to be hungry because of us. I'm not hungry, Lily, I promise. You need to eat. Is it because we don't have enough money? We're just in a tough spot right now, girls. Things will get better. When, Christine? When will it get better? We're barely surviving! Mom's trying, Lily. She's working as much as she can. But it's not enough! We're struggling every day! I don't like seeing you all so sad. Can we do something to help, Christine? There's nothing you can do. It's just how things are. We'll get through this. We just have to stick together. Sticking together isn't paying the bills, you know. I wish things were different. I wish Dad was here to help. Don't say that. We don't need him. We never did. Now enough talking. Let me serve you girls dinner. Mom said she's going to be late tonight. Okay, Allie. You can do this. It's just dinner. Mom? Who are you talking to? Hmm? Oh, just myself. I have a dinner tonight with Michael. You're going out with him? Like a date? Uh, yes. I guess you could call that. It's been so long, Christine. You seem different, Mom. Nervous, but... Happy? I'm nervous, but... Yes, I'm also happy. Is that okay? Of course it's okay. You deserve to be happy, Mom. Thank you, honey. I just want you to be okay with this. I am, Mom. It's just... It's new, you know? I know, sweetheart. It's new for me, too. I haven't dated since... Well, since your father. Do you really like him, Mom? Michael, I mean. I do. He's kind, Christine. He's just like us. That's good. I just worry about you. I know, honey. And I love you for it. But I think it's time for me, for us, to start a new chapter. A new chapter, huh? <laughs> that sounds nice, actually. It does, doesn't it? I'm not forgetting about the past, Christine, but I am moving forward. Then I'm with you, Mom. All the way. Thank you, my dear. That means everything to me. Just promise me one thing, Mom. What's that? Don't stay out too late, okay? We'll be waiting up. <laughs> Deal. Now, how do I look? Beautiful, Mom. Michael won't know what hit him. Aww. <laughs> oh, I better leave now. I'm already two minutes late. Bye-bye. I'll see you soon. Bye. Have fun, Mom. Oh, hey! I'm so sorry for being late. Got into a little traffic. That's okay. I just got here a few minutes ago. You look beautiful tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You too. So, um, do you want to order something? Sure. But how about we get to know each other a little bit? Sure. So, Michael, tell me about yourself. I'm 40. I had a family once. Lost them in an accident many years ago. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. It must have been tough. It was. Still is. Sometimes. But I've learned to find joy in life again. That's really brave of you. It's not easy moving from such a loss. No, it's not. Life goes on, right? And here I am, trying to start over. Starting over can be daunting. I know that all too well. I can imagine. With your girls and everything, you're a strong woman, Allie. Thank you. It hasn't been easy, especially after their father left. That's actually something I admire about you, your strength and resilience. You admire me? But we've only just met. True, but I've seen how you are with your daughters. You're a great mother. Thank you, Michael. That means a lot, especially coming from someone who's been through so much. It's been a long journey, but meeting you has been a bright spot recently. Uh, I'm flattered, Michael. You're a good man. I try to be, and I like to get to know you better, if that's okay. I... I like that too, but I have to think about my girls. Of course. Their well-being comes first. I wouldn't have it any other way. It's been so long since I've ever thought about dating. 
I'm a bit out of practice. <laughs> Don't worry, we can take things slow. No pressure. That sounds nice. It's just... hard to open up after everything. I understand. We've been through a lot. We can be there for each other. That really sounds nice, Michael. Thank you. This place is incredible! I can't believe we're living here now! I'm glad you like it, Christine. I want you all to feel at home here. Michael, this is more than what we've ever dreamed of. Thank you! It's my pleasure, Ali. I just want you and the girls to be happy. You've been so kind to us, Michael. It's like having a real dad. Christine, that means a lot to me. I care about you all deeply. Look at my room! It's so big and all these toys! It's my room! It's like a princess room! Michael, you've given them so much joy. They've never had this before. They deserve it, Ollie. They're wonderful kids. They never had clothes like these before. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say anything, Christine. Just enjoy them. You look beautiful, honey. Just like a young woman should. It's all so amazing. I feel like I'm in a dream. It's real, Christine. And it's just the beginning for us. You've changed our lives, Michael. We're so grateful. Yeah, Michael. I think of you as a dad now. Is that okay? Of course it's okay. I'd be honored to be thought of as your dad. Does that mean you're our dad now? Can we call you dad? If that's what you want, I'd be the happiest man in the world. Michael, you've given them the love they've missed so much. We're a family now. A real family. I still can't believe how lucky I am. You've been so wonderful, Michael. I'm the lucky one, Allie. You and the girls have brought so much joy into my life. You two are always so lovey-dovey. It's nice to see you happy, Mom. <laughs> well, your stepdad here is quite the romantic. We're going on another date tonight. Got to keep the romance alive. It's important, Christine. I hope I find someone as good as you one day, Dad. You deserve the best, Christine. Someone will treat you right. Love is a beautiful thing when it's with the right person. Absolutely. And speaking of love, Ali, how's counseling going? Really well, Michael. It's helping me deal with my past. Thank you for suggesting it. I'm glad you're taking care of yourself, Mom. You seem so much happier. I am, Christine. Michael's support has been a big part of that. We're a team, Ali. We face everything together. The ups and the downs. You've done so much for us. I really love you, you know? I love you too, Christine. You and the girls mean the world to me. Let's never forget how lucky we are to have each other, to have this family. I'll never forget you. I love you, Allie. And I love you, Michael. More than words can say. This is all I ever wanted. A happy family. We're really living the dream. Yes, we are. And I'm grateful for every single day. Anyways, it's getting pretty late, so I think I should go to bed. Don't want to be late tomorrow for school and work. Sure. Good night, Mom. Good night, Dad. Good night, everyone. Good night. Um, Michael, can we talk for a minute? Of course, Ali. What's on your mind? I've been thinking. I really want to start working again. Working? But Ali, you don't need to. I'm taking care of everything. I know you are, and I appreciate it. But I need this for myself. But Ali, we have everything we need here. You can relax and enjoy life. It's not about money, Michael. It's about feeling useful, feeling independent. I get that, but I worry about you. The stress of a job? I'm not made of glass, Michael. I can handle a job. I just want to make sure you're happy and not overwhelmed. But I'm not happy with just staying home all day. I need more than that. Allie, I just want what's best for you. For us. And what's best for me is having something of my own. My career, my independence. I just don't want you to regret it later, if it becomes too much. Michael, I need you to trust me on this. 
I know what I can handle. <sighs> Ali, I do trust you. I just love you and want to protect you. And I love you too. But being protected all the time isn't living, Michael. I just thought we were happy with how things are. We are happy. But I also need to feel fulfilled personally. Okay. If it's really what you want, I support you. But promise you'll take it easy. I promise, Michael. Thank you for understanding. I just want you to be safe and happy, Ali. That's all I ever wanted. I know. And I appreciate you more than you know. This means a lot to me. Alright. See how it goes. But we talk if it gets too much, okay? <laughs> okay. Deal. Thank you, Michael. This means the world to me. Now, can I please turn off the lights? I really want my beauty sleep. <laughs> sure. I'll just use my laptop in the guest room then. Good night, love. I love you so much. Aw, <laughs> I love you so much too. Make sure to rest soon, okay? Yep, don't worry. Ladies, ladies, every spot in this house is perfect for decorations. Morning, everyone! Wow, the house looks great! Ali, you're dressed for work, but it's Thanksgiving. Mom, you're working today? I know, I'm sorry. They needed someone and I volunteered. But Ali, it's our first Thanksgiving in our new home together. Mom, can't you stay? We'll miss you. Yeah, Mom. It won't be the same without you. I know, and I hate to miss it. But I promise I'll be back as soon as I can. This is important, Mom. How could you choose work over family? Christine, it's not like that. I just wanted to help out with work. Christine, let's not be too hard on your mom. She's doing what she thinks is best. But it's Thanksgiving, Dad. She should be here. I know. But we could still have a good day. Let's focus on what we have here. It won't be the same without Mom. Yeah, she always makes holidays special. We could still make it special. Let's do it for her, okay? Fine, but I wish she was here. I love you all. Enjoy the day, and I'll be back soon. All right, team. Let's make this Thanksgiving to remember. Yeah, let's do that. Michael, I didn't expect you to be up. How could I sleep, Ali? You said you'd be back soon. I know, I'm sorry. Work was just so hectic, and I lost track in time. It's Thanksgiving, Ali. You promised you'd be back for dinner. I know, and I feel terrible, but my job needed me. And what about us, your family? We needed you here. I'm trying to do my best, Michael. For work and for our family. Your best. We spent our first Thanksgiving in this house without you. Michael, I can't just ignore my responsibilities at work. I have commitments. Oh. So your job is now more important than your family. That's not what I'm saying. Why can't you understand? Understand? How can I understand you missing important family moments for work? I'm not just a housewife, Michael. I have my own life, too. And what about our life together? Or does that not matter to you? Of course it matters! Why are you making me choose? I'm not asking you to choose, Ali. I just want you to be there for us. I am there for you, but I can't be there all the time! I get that you want to work, but we miss you, Ali. The girls miss you. I missed you too, but I can't just give up on my career. No one's asking you to give it up. Just find a balance. I just feel so torn, Michael! I'm trying to do it all, but it feels like I'm failing everyone! Please, Ali, I didn't mean to make you feel that way. I'm just worried about us. I know, and I'm worried too. I don't want to let you or the girls down. Ali, come here. You're not letting anyone down. You're doing your best. But my best doesn't seem good enough. I missed Thanksgiving, our family day. It's okay. We all have moments where we can't be there. It doesn't mean you love us any less. But I wanted to be there, Michael. You have to believe me. I do believe you, Ali. It's just hard when we miss you so much. I miss you too. Every moment I'm away from you and the girls. Let's figure this out together, okay? We're a team, remember? 
Yes, a team. I just feel like I'm letting the team down. You're not, Ali. We just need to find a balance that works for everyone. <sighs> I'll try, Michael. I'll make more time for the family. For us. And I'll try to be more understanding of your work. We'll both try. Thank you, Michael. I don't know what I'd do without you. And I don't know what to do without you. Ali, good morning. Don't put a gun in them, in them. Good morning, beautiful. How about we spend the day together? Oh, I'd love that, but I have to go to work. Maybe this weekend? Besides, we all went to hang out like two days ago. Hmm, you're right. Sure, this weekend sounds great, but it needs to be just you and me. <laughs> Whatever you say, love. Your wishes are my command. Now, let me go choose my outfit for the day. I'll be back! I shouldn't look at her phone, but why are there so many messages? What? She's meeting him? But why? Michael! How do I look? You look... Beautiful. <laughs> Thanks, love. I'll see you tonight. Why would she meet him after all we've been through? I need to know what's going on. I can't just sit here. Dad? Where are you going so early? Christine, I... I saw something on your mom's phone. She's meeting her ex-husband. What? My biological father? Why would she do that? I don't know, Christine. I need to find out. I have to follow her. Dad, this can't be happening. Mom wouldn't do this to us. To you! I wish I could believe that, Christine. But I saw the messages. She said she was on her way to meet him. But why, Dad? Why would she go back to him after everything? I don't know. But I'm going to find out. If I don't come back, know that I love you. Dad, no! Don't say that! You can't think like that! I have to know the truth, Christine. I can't live with this doubt. Please, Dad, don't go! We can talk to her together. We can figure this out. I have to do this, Christine. I need to see for myself. What well, if something happens to you? What if you don't come back? I'll be okay, Christine. But I have to know the truth, no matter what it is. Dad, please. Let's just wait for Mom to come home. We can ask her then. I can't wait. This is something I need to do. Dad, you're all we have. Please don't leave us like this. I love you, Christine. Always remember that. I have to go now. Dad, please don't do this. Come back. <laughs> Babe, I'm home. Oh, there you are. I've been waiting so long for you, love. <laughs> I'm sorry, love. You know my husband, Michael? Oh, he's so clingy to me. It took me long to get rid of him. Uh, sometimes I wish you hadn't married him. Hey, we don't have to talk about him here, right? Besides, I don't have much time left. Gotta head to work as well. <sighs> John, being back with you, it's like a dream I never want to wake up from. Nellie. Every moment without you is like a piece of me was missing. Now, I feel whole again. John, the thought of losing you again terrifies me. Can you promise me something? Anything for you, Ali. What you need to hear. Promise me you'll never leave again. I don't think I could bear it. Ali, I swear to you, I'll never leave your side again. Those years apart were the hardest of my life. I won't make that mistake again. I need to hear that, John. I need to know we're together for good this time. We are, Ali. I'm not going anywhere. You're my forever. I've waited so long to be back in your arms, to feel safe and loved. And I've waited just as long to hold you like this, to show you how much you mean to me. 
We had a future together, Ali. A beautiful one. What's going on here? This can't be happening. Ali! What is this? What are you doing with them? Michael? It's not what it looks like. Please, let me explain. Maybe you should leave, Michael. This is between me and Ali. I knew it! You're back with them! After everything we've built together! No, Michael! I'm here for... For a different reason! It's not what you think! Lies! I can see with my own eyes. You're with him. <laughs> Michael, you need to leave now. This is none of your business. You won't get away with this! I'm divorcing you, Holly. I can't believe I trusted you. Good! I'm relieved! Now I can finally be with John! I was only with you for the money, Michael! For a comfortable life for my children! You used me? All these years? It was all a lie? Leave now, Michael! There's nothing here for you! she do this? Everything was a lie? I gave her everything. My love, my life, and she betrayed me. Breaking news, millionaire businessman Michael Charleston has died in a tragic car crash late this evening. What did they just say? Michael is... dead? No, no, that can't be right, not dead! Dead? No, that's impossible, he can't be! This has to be a mistake, dad can't be gone! How did this happen? He just left this morning! I just saw him! He can't be! I need Dad! He said he loved us! He promised to always be there! Why did he have to follow Mom? Why couldn't he just let it go? We need to call Mom! She has to know about this! No, she's the one behind all of this. Now that Michael's gone, everything he owns should be mine. Just need to find those papers. Where did he keep those property papers? They should be here somewhere. Looking for this, Mom? Christine! What... what are you doing with that? It's the property papers, Mom. And guess what? Everything is under my name. What? That can't be. It should all be mine. I'm his wife. You mean you were his wife. You don't deserve any of this after what you did to him. Christine, you have to understand. I need this. We can share it. Share? After you betrayed dad? No chance, mom. Please, girls, I made a mistake. I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Guards? Please escort my mother out. She's no longer welcome here. No, you can't do this to me! I'm your mother! Christine, please, I'll do anything! Don't throw me out! It's too late, Mom. You made your choice. Now live with it! John, pick up! Please, I need you! John, why aren't you answering? What do I do now? I've lost everything. My family, my home, 